everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet the Love Letters shawl. This is a beautiful, lacy, but really easy to stitch up shawl. And it's nice and wide, and it has really nice coverage. Now, I have a scarf called the Love Notes scarf. And um, several of you have asked me over the years for a shawl version of this. So um, I created this and it's called the Love Letters because the letter is a little bit longer than a note, so if you will. <laughs> um, the finished shawl measures about 27 inches wide. So it's nice and wide, like I said, and it's about 60 inches long. And we're gonna be just using some really simple um, double crochets and chains to create this shawl. So let's get started. For this project, you'll need a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, a tape measure is super helpful to get both the length and the width that you'd like. We're gonna be using a five millimeter H crochet hook. This is my Furls Odyssey. If you'd like to get one for yourself, I'll put the link as well as a coupon code to get a discount if you like. For our yarn, I have some beautiful kind of dusty rose yarn here that I just love and it's super soft. This is called Amigo by Hobie. This is an acrylic yarn and I'm going to be using 1,146 yards of this. That's six balls of this. Each ball is 191 yards, so a total of 1,146. It sounds like a lot, but it'll make us a nice wide long wrap that we can wrap around ourselves. Now, if you need to substitute yarn, just look for the same yardage in a number three light on the yarn weight scale. You can see the little tiny ball of yarn with a number in it, and that's how you find the weight, a number three light for that. Now, the color that I have here is number 50, and it does come in dye lots. So if you order uh, more than one ball of the same color, make sure your dye lots match so you'll have uh, consistent color as you change yarn balls. So 1,146 yards of a medium, or excuse me, a light number three on the yarn weight scale. And if you'd like to, I'm going to give the multiple if you need to change the width or if you're changing your yarn or what have you, I'll be providing that later on in the video as well. Okay, I have my yarn and my hook and we're ready to go. We're going to begin with our starting chain and I'm going to do a starting chain of 90. Now, I wanted to talk about the multiples a little bit. Our multiple is four plus two. So that will establish the width of your shawl. And if you're not familiar with this concept, that just means when you're doing your starting chain, you're gonna go four, when you, with your chains, you're gonna go four plus four plus four plus four and so forth until you get the width that you want and then just add two more chains onto the end of that, okay? So multiple of four plus two, and we're gonna make one with the starting chain of 90, okay? So to begin, we're gonna take our yarn and put a slip knot on our hook. Wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop. Bring the yarn behind the loop. Reach in with your crochet hook, bring up that loop, and tighten. So again, we're gonna do 90 chains. So to make a chain, let me just zoom in a little bit more. Wrap yarn around hook and just bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 88, 89, and 90. So here is our starting chain. And you can see from the little knot here at the end, all the way across, this is gonna be the width of our shawl. Again, if you need to adjust it, use that four plus two multiple. Okay, so let's move on to row one. For row one, we're gonna work a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So if we look at our piece here, this loop does not count. We're gonna go one, two, three, and four. So in this fourth chain from the hook, work a double crochet. To make a double crochet, wrap the yarn around the hook, insert it into that fourth chain, bring up a loop, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. Then we're gonna work a double crochet into the next chain. And then in the next chain, we're gonna work a double crochet again, then a chain three, one, two, three, and a double crochet on that same chain. Just like that. So it's gonna give us a little bit of a 
and opening now. Then we're going to skip a chain and then we're going to work a double crochet in each of the next two chains. So double crochet, double crochet into the next chain and then we're going to repeat. So in the next chain work two, uh, work a double crochet, excuse me, into that next chain and then we're going to chain three. One, two, three, and then we're going to work a double crochet on that same chain. Just like that, okay? All right, so then we're going to skip the next chain, then work a double crochet in each of the next two chains. So double crochet, double crochet and then in the chain after that we're going to work a double crochet chain three one two three and a double crochet all in the same chain then we're going to skip a chain and then work a double crochet in each of the next two chains. Double crochet, double crochet into the next chain. And then in the next chain, work a double crochet again. Chain three, one, two, three and then a double crochet into the same chain. Okay, skip the next chain and the chain after that, work a double crochet. Work a double crochet in the next chain. Double crochet in the next chain. Chain three, one, two, three and a double crochet in that same chain. Then we're going to skip the next chain and then the chain after that work a double crochet. Work a double crochet into the next chain. Double crochet in the next chain and then we're going to chain three. One, two, three, and work a double crochet into that same chain. Okay, we're going to continue across with the same sequence that we've been doing. So if you've kind of um, memorized what we've done so far, you can keep going. If you want to hang out with me and work to the end of the row, definitely feel free to do that as well. So we're going to skip the next chain, work a double crochet in the chain after that, double crochet in the chain after that, work a double crochet into the next chain, then chain three. One, two, three, and work a double crochet into the same chain. Okay, skip the next chain, work a double crochet in the chain after that, Work a double crochet in the next chain. Double crochet into the next chain. Then chain three. One, two, three, and double crochet into the same chain. Skip the next chain and the chain after that. Work a double crochet. Work a double crochet into the next chain. Work a double crochet into the next chain, then chain three. One, two, three, then a double crochet into that same chain. Skip the next chain and the chain after that. Work a double crochet, work a double crochet into the next chain, work a double crochet into the next chain. Chain 
three. One, two, three. And work a double crochet into that same chain. Whoops, I'm going to redo that double crochet because my yarn split a little. There we go. All right, skip the next chain and the chain after that, work a double crochet. Double crochet into the next chain. Double crochet into the next chain. Chain three, one, two, three, and double crochet into the same chain. Skip the next chain and the chain after that, work a double crochet. Double crochet into the next chain. Double crochet into the next chain. And chain three, one, two, three and double crochet into that same chain. Skip the next chain and the chain after that, work a double crochet. Double crochet into the next chain. Double crochet into the next chain. Chain three, one, two, three, and double crochet into that same chain. Again, if you sort of gotten the hang on it of it, you can work ahead. Otherwise, we have a little bit more to go, not too much more. Okay, skip the next chain in the chain after that, work a double crochet. Work a double crochet into the next chain. Work a double crochet into the next chain. Whoops. Chain three. One, two, three and double crochet into that same chain. Skip the next chain and the chain after that, work a double crochet. Double crochet into the next chain. Double crochet into the next chain. Chain three, one, two, three, and double crochet into that same chain. Skip the next chain and the chain after that, work a double crochet, double crochet into the next chain, double crochet into the next chain, chain three, one, two, three, and double crochet into that same chain. All right, just a little bit more to go. Skip the next chain and the chain after that, work a double crochet. Work a double crochet into the next chain. Work a double crochet into the next chain. And then chain three, one, two, three and work a double crochet into that same chain. Skip the next chain and the chain after that, work a double crochet. Work a double crochet into the next chain. Work a double crochet into the next chain. Chain three, one, two, three and a double crochet into that same chain. All right, skip the next chain in the chain after that, work a double crochet, double crochet into the next chain, and double crochet into the next chain, chain three, one, two, three, and double crochet into that same chain. Skip the next chain and the chain after that, work a double crochet. Double crochet in the next chain. Double crochet into the next chain. And chain three. One, two, three. And double crochet into that same chain. 
skip the next chain and then the chain after that, double crochet, double crochet in the next chain, double crochet into the next chain, chain three, one, two, three, and double crochet into that same chain. Okay, we have just a few chains left. Skip the next chain, work a double crochet in the next chain, double crochet into the next chain, and then a double crochet into the last chain. So row one is complete. And if you hung with me for all of row one, just know that this is the most challenging row. So if you got through this row, you're in great shape. Um, the next two rows are nothing, uh, no counting, no skipping, anything like that. We're just going to go into spaces from this point forward. Okay, so let's move on to row two. For row two, what we're going to do is chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and turn. And then we're going to hop over to this. Remember this chain three that we did? It created a space. It kind of looks like a loop. You can see them all the way across. This is called the chain three space in the pattern, the written pattern on the blog. So in the chain three space, what we're gonna do is work three double crochet, one, two, and three. Then we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then we're gonna work one more double crochet in that same space. Okay, so it'll look kind of like that, okay? Let's do this a couple more times together, and then you're gonna do that in every chain three space all the way across, but we'll do the first couple together. So hop over to the next chain three space. You can see that, that loopy opening there. And what we're gonna do is the same thing. Right in that chain three space, work three double crochet. One, two, and three. Chain three. One, two, three, and then work a double crochet into the same space. Okay, hop over to the next chain three space and let's do this one more time together. Work three double crochet in that chain three space. One, two, three, chain three. One, two, three, and then one more double crochet in that same space. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is you're gonna go ahead and work the same thing in every chain three space. Our, remember our three double crochet, chain three, one double crochet. So keep going across in the same way all the way over and then when we get towards the end of row two, we're going to rejoin. I'm going to show you how to finish off the row once we get down to the end here. And then we're going to start on row three. Okay, I'm just working the last few stitches of row two. And we're working that three double crochet, chain three, and one double crochet on that same space. Like we've been doing all the way across. I'm just at the last one. And then to finish up row two, what we're going to do is work a, uh, excuse me, three double crochets in the third chain of the turning chain. So at the end of your row, you'll see a group of three double crochet and you'll have a turning chain. That third chain up, which is the topmost chain here, you can see it right here on the top. We're gonna work three double crochets into that topmost chain, that third chain up, okay? So one double crochet, two double crochet, and three double crochet. And that's how we finish up row two, okay? So we're starting to get some beautiful lacy texture here. Okay, let's move on to row three next. Now row three is the row that you'll do for the rest of your project, and it's almost exactly identical to row two. The only difference is how we end the row, okay? So I'm gonna take you through the row again, and I'll show you how to do the end as well because it's slightly different, but we're gonna start row three by doing a chain five once again. One, two, 
three, four, five, and then we're going to turn our work. Then, we're once again, we're going to work in these chain three spaces, remember from the previous row that we created. So in each of these chain three spaces, we're going to do the same thing we did before. So hop over to that first chain three space from the previous row, and we're going to work three double crochet. So one, two, let me get a little bit more yarn here, and three, and then we're going to chain three. One, two, three, and then work a double crochet into that same chain three space. Okay, just like that. Same thing we've been doing. Hop over to the next chain three space and just do the same thing. We'll do a couple together. So three double crochet in that chain three space. One, two, and three, chain three. One, two, chain three. One, two, three, and then one more double crochet in that same space, okay? So you're just gonna do this in each chain three space all the way across your row. Let me get this laid flat so you can see. So just work your three double crochet, chain three, th uh, one double crochet in each chain three space all the way across like we've been doing. And then once we get towards the end of this row, I'm gonna show you how to finish off this row as well. So let's do one more together. Hop over to the next chain three space. And once again, you're gonna go three double crochet. One, two, three, chain three. One, two, three, and then a double crochet in the same space, okay? So keep doing that all the way across. And when we get to the end of the row, I'll show you how to finish off that row and how to keep going with your project. All right, coming up to the end of row three now, and we've just been doing the same thing all the way across. I'm just working those last few stitches. And for this row, for row three, and every row you'll do after row three, um, we are gonna go in the fifth chain up this time. Now see how our, our turning chain is so much bigger this time, so we need to treat it just a tiny bit differently. So we're going to count one, two, three, four, five chains up, and this time we're going to go into that fifth chain up and work our three double crochet. So one, two, and three. So like I said before, it's almost identical to the row we just did, but we just have to kind of handle um, the way we end it a little bit because of that turning chain. Okay, so this is what we have so far, rows one, two, and three. So for the rest of your shawl, and we have some beautiful progress here. I just love this stitch. It, it works up quickly. It has a lovely texture. Um, and I think it just looks so nice with this like soft pink yarn. It's just really pretty. Um, so for the rest of your shawl, you're just gonna keep going with row three over and over and over again until your shawl is as long as you would like it to be. Now, like I said, I have a ton of yarn here that I'm working with and um, lots of yardage. So mine, I want it to be wide and very long so it would have some gorgeous lacy drape. Um, now you can keep going as long as you want. So when we rejoin in just a few minutes, um, you'll see it all worked up and we're gonna finish off our shawl. I'll give you some dimensions, etc. So keep going with row three and we'll rejoin in just a moment. Just working those last couple of stitches of our last row. And this was a very quick little project to stitch up if you want a nice wrap. Okay, so our last row is complete and it has a, a lovely little scallop on it. So the last thing we need to do is cut our yarn and fasten off here. So just give it a snip. I didn't have quite enough yarn to start another row, so I just took it all the way through. We're gonna wrap the yarn around the hook, bring it through that loop, and then you can grab your tapestry needle. Now this stitch, because we worked in rows like this, is completely reversible. So when you do your finish work, just make sure you kind of go in between everything, in between those um, stitches, not on one side so much on in the other. Um, just kind of go down the middle of everything. And if you're using uh, a solid color like I did it, it'll blend in pretty nice. So we're just going to go in one direction with our tail 
and then bring it back in the other direction. And then grab your scissors again and just give it a little snip. And then wherever you have other tails, like here's some here, um, go ahead and weave those in as well. So all of our ends are woven in and our shawl is now complete. So that is how you crochet the Love Letters shawl. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiber Flux video updates. Thanks again.